from Choctaw Resort in Durant, Oklahoma. This is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Nights in America. I'm Chris Hansen alongside Joe Stapleton. And we're in Durant, Oklahoma at Choctaw. Choctaw. Bringing you live cash games. You think reality stars are wealthy? We've got a new lineup for you tonight, including prop and trinket master Jim Carroll and poker night staple Alec Torelli. I cannot even believe that poker prop comedy is a thing. <laughs> it is, and he's the leader in the clubhouse. He is the only person in the clubhouse, which That's... is probably shaped like a like a billy club. Should we do the Bluff Alec Torelli game again today? No. <laughs> Guys, not doing it. It's not, it's that not, didn't go so well. It's not up, it's not up no, to it's you. No, it's not that. It's, it's, not about the, it's not about the fact that I don't think I have... <coughs> it's beneficial for me from a financial standpoint. I just don't like the game for the TV standpoint. It was great for the TV standpoint. I, the, t the TV doesn't know about the game. Well, that's Tuckman's <laughs> fault. He should have told him. From a TV standpoint, awesome, do you think it's a bit of a conflict of interest that Chris Hansen's son, Bart Hansen, is once again playing in this game? More than we do. It's not my son. <laughs> How much is that? Not my son. That sounds reasonable. 400 is reasonable for this game. All right, so Jim Carroll, Matt Russell, and not my son, Bart Hansen, are in this hand. Uh, I don't know. I would guess 100. Flops eight, do seven. Hanson Paris is live card, but it is no good. That's me. Look like you were thinking about it. He's an active player. Oh, I don't know. 400 the bet from Jim Carroll. 20% of those hands. 20% of those hands. How much is it? I don't know. I think even one more. 400. Jim, perfectly happy, I'm sure, to have the hand end here. You got two tens. There's no paint out there. I'll just take it right now. Thanks. I don't think I was 20%. No. <laughs> you know what? I probably won't be again today. That's fair. It doesn't mean like you can't win playing less or more. It's just everybody has different styles. I also had different spots. I also had a bet where I had to be in every hand because people could bluff me. So I mean, I had to play them pretty much the most amount of hands. Thank one you. more low card means one more bet from Jim. Good morning, Mr. Tuckman. And it's a $1,200 bet. Bart's getting buried early. We're in the second hand. So needs Jim's move here isn't so bad. Like, I don't mind the check, but he makes it so quickly that I think it's kind of a major tell. It's like he doesn't even consider betting, so Bart doesn't really have to worry about getting raised. 1,800. Uh, so I'll probably put you on a pair of nines or sixes. Let's find out. I have two pair. That's not good. Is it going to be like this all day long with the river? All day. It's been torture. Two hands in. All right, Gavin, here we go. Let's cap these babies up. Oh, you're warning me this time. You want action. I love playing my button this way. Well, actually, I didn't think it tasted that bad for like a, like a low alcohol IPA. You know all the beer here is 3%. I do 3%? That's only one more percent than my milk. I, I, I What's beer that? normally? Four and a half is it can average. Be, it can be five like to... Like IPAs or... Yeah, five seven, to nine, something like that. Eight, nine. Yeah. Um, What's wine? Nine? Wine's like Wine's 11 to 14 is oh, pretty wow. average. 12.5 usually. What is it? Oh, 175? Wow. Yeah. 75. All right, I can do that. All right, here comes Jim Carroll again. It's really and his rings are out. 3% beer, you're not going to get Ooh. it. Ooh. Yeah. Abdul Kondro from Anchorage wakes up with Alaska Airlines. Bet you never heard of that one before, did you? I think it's American Airlines is what they call it. This guy's from, Ace, he's Ace. from Anchorage, though, buddy. 50%. Action back on Bart. Where, ooh, I don't like the taste of beer. I know, that's what I'm saying. If you drink it here, it's because you like the taste. Yeah. Did you look now? Yeah, yeah it's because you raise so much. Normally when I don't look, I win a hand. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna win this hand. And if they do it, just if they, all they're doing is adding water to it to cut the alcohol. Low flop, baby. So we're three ways to this flop. Conjugal way out in front. Sure Give me two pair on the flop right here. And what a dope flop for aces. Everyone's likely to think they have the best hand. And Conjul 
That's this flop, a pretty absurd amount, nearly pot sized. I'll get it. I mean, I'm, we're just working on it right now. Yeah, I'm call. So far, the absurd bet size Oof. is working out. I need to pull out a donkey award or sucker award. Are you suckering me in on this one? In a vacuum, I do not like this bet on the flop. Jim was well aware of all the hands he was losing to. I'm not good enough. I'm not a good enough player to know what to do here. We should have implemented the phone a friend system so that oh yeah one hand so you just get calls all day long. <laughs> you could go over and like look at it and decide for him. Well, if I got that unfortunate for you to have aces over there, I got that unfortunate. I call. Okay, boys, what do you got? Turn them up. Wow. That's it. Yeah, I think you need a queen or a king, please. Pocket aces. King, king won't do it for you. You need the queen. No, you're right. Queen, baby. Why did you have to say that, Gavin? I needed you to loud warn mouth you. loudmouth sucking dog? I needed I was helping you. He shouldn't have said anything, and then he celebrates on the river. Then he would have been celebrating. And... Two hands in, and Jim Carroll has gone bust. You're going to need a minute to reload. Luckily, he runs that marriage boot camp, so he knows how to reload quickly. Welcome back to Poker Night in America here at Choctaw Resort in Durant, Oklahoma. Yahoo! Jim Carroll's bought back into the game. You do realize I have the power today to remove any one of you from the table. Can you take all my chips again? If you take all of his chips. <laughs> no, I just That's off. a good way to remove people. <laughs> or to keep them in the game. Depends. We gotta take your chips off about four or five more times before you're, before you're all, all done. I don't know, the ATM won't let me have that much. You probably got pretty good credit around here. Pocket A's. Abdul, <coughs> Abdul's got lots of money. He'll loan you. Is Gavin Smith guarantees You got about 12,000 more than he had a few minutes ago. <laughs> Pocket A's. All right, these two again. Going heads up to the flop. Hey, have you ever heard someone say that two players are putting on a clinic? We're about to see whatever the opposite of a clinic is. Yeah, so what time's the Minnesota game on? It's on now. Flop is king high. So, Carol we... doesn't continue. Conjo bets his flush draw. When are you guys going back to uh, Alaska? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. 325. Did, did you rent a car? No. Three and a quarter. Raise it up. We got picked up in a Rolls Royce. Okay, so now Jim is check raising. Yeah. <laughs> you made me How look at my hand now. Uh, if I make you look three, three times, it means you're going to throw them away. Yeah, I've pretty much figured that one out. 11 more? Yes, and Kanjui calls. Pocket kings this time. Maybe you're on the flush draw. Still looking for that heart. What are you doing, Abdul? No I should be messing with you. All right, and there's the ace for Jim Carroll. And checks it. Uh, 2,500. <laughs> now you're wondering, well, how good is my ace? Kanjui betting again. So I re-raise, you call. You know how there's that one Hearthstone card that makes you just start casting random spells and attacking the wrong people and stuff? Nope. Well, this is like that, but for poker. Good call. All right, now 8,300. Here comes the river. Everybody misses. Carol did not need to hit. And he's going to check the best hand again. Yep. 8,300 in the middle. 3,250. 3,250? I just cannot believe I got such bad luck that you hit that ace. It's a $3,200 bluff into a guy who folds less often than a saltine. Good grief, I'm having a bad day. 
And you probably got two pair of king six. Oh, here, take some more money. There's the call. You win this one. <laughs> I had a pleasure. Yeah, nice hand. Oh you. my God, he called. <laughs> <laughs> Eagles is getting beat All up. Right, Gavin, I am defending my blind. I'll do it with you. I haven't looked. I haven't looked. Here we go. I'm just waiting for the cards to come. Here we go. Yeah. So that's so that's, a, the, that's not a straddle, right? That's a race. No, it's a straddle. I, didn't I just was waiting for him so my chips oh, weren't blocking the blocking the thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you text me back your email, I'll, I'll be short. I'll do it right now. He may walk. It may walk. That'd be beautiful. He's not walking by me. I'm a no way. Three hundred. That sounds fair. Oh, that's bad, isn't it? So we know Carol's got at least an ace. Handsome with ace ten. Torelli queen jack. Alec had a fun calling hand, but he's out of position, so he wants the betting lead. Re-raising. This could go either way for Bart. Alec is pretty aggressive, and with the dynamic of the positions, Ace-10 could be the best hand. All right, with that kind of raise, I'm going to have to take a little looky here. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't, wouldn't expect otherwise. And it's how much? It looks like Jim's got his cards back on the reader. Ace-Jack, Domination so Nation. Well, you know he's calling this. What did 11 you, 11.50? What did you want it to be? Well... I'm gonna call that. 1150 is reasonable. I think that was like that straddle run you away kind of thing. Right? That's what you were doing? I can't say yet. <laughs> we're still in the middle of it. That's pretty nice. If you got fives over there, go for it. On board like this, Alec as the three better is supposed to keep betting. Thirteen. And he does. Thirteen hundred. Uh oh, here comes another classic Jim Carroll check raise. I am gonna raise. Oops. Right. And it works. And I know getting Alex to fold is gonna feel like a win, but let's remember a worse hand folded. You played it too fast. I couldn't <laughs> figure out any trophy award or anything to give you. Welcome back to Choctaw Resort and shout out to Julie B on Yelp. She left a five star review stating, very hospitally, very clean, Sam was great. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Not many people notice the hospitaliness of it. You know the third party Think candidate, about Gary Johnson, about the Libertarian. <laughs> Johnson. Yep. People don't realize that the Libertarian platform is that they want open immigration and emigration. Like they want open, because they want no laws at all. Right. I did not know that. I am a microstakes political player. <laughs> a what? I'm a microstakes politician. What does that mean? Political player. It means I don't play very big. I don't know what's going on. I watch, a, I watch a lot of The difference of between me and all the other microstakes players is I know I'm a microstakes player. A lot of the mids, a lot of people think they're playing mid stakes and they're really playing micro stakes. I'll tell you what though, Alex Torelli is high stakes when it comes to poker metaphors. Polit po polit politics? I'm very micro stakes. Oh, oh, why are you talking about politics? I was asking how they felt about the wall in, in South Texas. So Jim Carroll opens Shad, with 7-6 yeah, no, and no, flops a big draw. One thing, I just wonder how they felt about it. Alex Seven still the best hand, only one over card out there. I lost a prop that I might need to use in this hand at some point. Chris's son is out. Christian Gray is out. He's fine. And all we're left with is Jim Carroll and Alec Torelli. Stop us if you've heard this one. And Jim Carroll just makes a straight on the turn. But, uh, and let's Alec pick his <laughs> his move for him. I mean, that's not very much. Door number one said check. Check. All right, so we go check, check on the turn. Here's the river. 
Then what are you going to raise? So 4,000? I can't make 5,000 and fold. Pick right, one. That's what I mean. So, so you're this, committing. So that's, that, that's the issue. With the, with it worked last no. time. You yeah. sure you want that one? Yeah. It worked last time. It was a decent No. Oh, 3K in that one. Damn. Yikes. Plus he used... Now, the way he did the little check on the turn was kind of cute, but from a poker standpoint, maybe not what we like to call game theory optimal. By not betting, you only what said is happening? Me once. <laughs> what, what is this? What are we, what is what's happening here? <laughs> I don't think that, uh, I don't think you can do that. First time. I, don't, I got around the first time. I'm gonna get this guy's seen Patton too many times. Oh, I love it. Back scratcher! <laughs> Back scratcher! <laughs> Back scratcher! It's not across the line anymore, and I did not touch it. What's what's going on? I think Alec is handling this really well, which I believe if Jim were like a really really good player, he'd probably have a lot less tolerance for this. Currently, you have a metal arm. Uh, I got you beat this time. Do not put your chips in. What I was saying is, when Jim doesn't bet the turn, he sort of caps this pot. Like if Jim had bet the turn and then bet 3K on the river, this becomes a far less absurd bet for Alec to call. The problem is he bet so big. <clears throat> well, you'd pick the other damn hand. What's, the, what's wrong with me betting real big? Oh. Because you know, you just got like a little rinky dink hand. You can't beat anything. I will say this. Like the novels of Dan Brown, if your IQ is above 80, Jim Carroll is impossible to read. He's kind of like the jigsaw of poker players in that he's baffling and cruel, and mm -hmm. also somehow he oh keeps God, coming no. back. Come on, I'm fishing for you. <laughs> Looking for a fish. Breaks in an hour, should we just go now? Yeah. Wow. What would you do if it was your turn? I know, right? I know. Like, I remember the first time I played poker. It took me All a while right. to make decisions, too. That's only 100. <laughs> oh. That's all I got. That's all I got. What a That's disgusting that. slow roll. 2,900. Back scratch. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, in. Good read. I mean, well done. <laughs> oh, good oh. read. That wasn't long. Oh, Here, there's the big. fish thing. Got my missile down under. Detroit winning, yeah, right? Like spot Detroit won the game. Oh. Kind of like you did too bad. Detroit won. I thought Minnesota won. No, Detroit won. I didn't realize Golden Tate was on Detroit. Well, that's not as good. I thought I scooped the game. Darn it. You don't have to be happy for me anymore. I'm not happy for me anymore. <laughs> Bartley, what are you doing? <laughs> I, was, I, thought we, I thought we were rooting and happy. Gavin's Canadian, so even when he's angry, he sounds pretty happy. I think we're all in there. Darn it. I... Pick one. Left. $100. <laughs> <laughs> Things are not looking good for Jim Carroll. <laughs> you are being careful about trying not to let me see it every time, though. I don't want to give away everything. Call. 350. I guess that could have been $150 raise. Right. Going heads up to the turn. Jim Carroll officially drawing oh, dead. Anyways. Oh. Nice yeah, boat on the turn for Hanson. Yeah. Atta boy. And this is a super run out for Bart. Not only is he improving, but the board's running out in such a way that Jim's more and more likely to think yeah. his hand could be good. That'd have been 600. I'm on a straight draw, is, is just letting you know. No. Made, yeah. it, made you look, that's made you look. More. Oh no, but 500 should qualify because it's more than half the bet. Well, I think that's a limit. 900? The flies are known. Yeah. The tournament's in my, my but I, okay. I don't I mean, think the flies in You know, in a tournament, they'll call. 900 is the bet. Call from Carroll? No. Who cares? I'm more about intention in a clear spot like that. Yeah. Whatever. Check. I think we should be well, more Jim Rivers a flush draw. <laughs> more about intention. Yeah. I think when it's obvious, you know, there's no reason to be stick with Yeah. Here. There are spots though. Time for Bart to like take it on down to Valueville. Like they have a 25 cage. Notice how he doesn't get into the props at this point with Bart Hansen, like he did in the last one with a big decision. The question is, do you have an ace? If you have an ace, and I got two aces, that makes, but I don't have two aces. Um, I call.
You're gonna need a bigger boat. Where's the props nice. now? Maybe like a little tow Not truck for Bart to uh, drag uh, the pot? Welcome back to Poker Night in America, more specifically Durant, Oklahoma. Even more specifically than that, Choctaw Resort. We're halfway through the session and our big winner is Bart Hansen. Alec Torelli and Abdul Kanjuli are up over four grand. Jim Carroll lost 10 grand early and is still in the hole for most of that. Matt Russell and Tom Gray are gonna be looking to earn back some losses as well next time here on Poker Night. And if you want more Poker Night, you can find us on social media, including Twitch and YouTube, where you can find full episodes, live streams, and exclusive content. Also, don't forget to download our free poker app. You and your friends can have your very own Poker Night as well as a chance to win a seat in our show. Just search for us in your app store and download it today. For everyone here at Poker Night in America, he's Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen, and thanks for watching. It's only appropriate I give you back the fish. Give you back the fish. Yeah. You definitely earned something for, for sure. calling 2200 in the spot where Bart's true. bluffing 0%. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal, Sit and Go 2.0, and Dober Games.